is up everybody, this is your host Suicide and welcome back to another video of Rush Force. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks for this game. I've got my list here, I've been trying it out, playing it for a few hours. Now this is the dev version by the way, now let's jump straight into it. So we're going to get a squad, we'll swap out, let's say this guy for these guys and now we're going to attack. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I've learned and picked up over time. Now I might be wrong, but hopefully I'm not completely wrong. Now one thing that, oh it's Galadon, it's Galadon. Okay, so we've got our army, we've got our army. Now, let's start, let's start putting them out. So you want to, you want to sort of put the ones, you know, the tanks, eh, at the front. And of course, like the bazookas with low hit point, they're not the bazookas. But, you know, you want players that, you know, like the, it's a bit like, you know, in, in Clash of Clans. You want, you know, the tanks, the golems, the peckers at the front, the wizards at the back. It's same concept. Okay, so we put them in. You can, of course, wait, so... Another great thing to do is to distract the mortar with your guards. So, for example, we're going to put them there. Now, we're going to put these guys back here a little bit. So, we want the guards to go a little bit early. Okay, now we're for a start. And then the mortar will be focused on them. And then the other one comes in and dominates. Now, another thing is, if you're like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Hold the hold your ability thing. And it slows down time. So, whether it's the thing, the rocket that goes, yo, boom, that thing, uh, the arcade machine, or it's a heel, if you hold this out here, it slows down. And the timer goes at the same speed. So you can just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it uh, to watch the, the thing, and then you press it back, and then you go like so. Now, uh, you wait for your, your troops to get a bit low before you do the health, because you don't want to waste the health, but it is very short, so you have to be very precise when you time it. So they've got a tang in there, so we're going to wait a little bit, and, 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 okay, and then we're going to go heal about, no, okay, and we're going to use the ability, with the ability, here we go, boom, and so we want to use the ability as much as we possibly can, the heal was probably a bit early, but it looks like we're going to win anyway, but you want to use the ability as much as possible, because the awesome thing about this is it keeps refreshing every few seconds, you can keep using the ability, so you want to get the max value, so try and use it as soon as possible, although if there's a better situation, sometimes you can wait a little bit, but definitely it's really helpful if you're, if you're sort of slowly putting in troops, if you're not sure what to do, you can hold out, you can put out your thing, just hold out the, the the, the fire thing, whether it's the heal or the whatnot, and then it will slow, it will slow down the, the match, and so you can just sort of decide, mm, where am I going to put this, or where am I going to put the troops out, and so that is indeed quite helpful to do. Okay, let's attack again. Okay, there we go. So we're going to attack again, and we're going to move on to the next tip. Now, yep, so there's that, there's distract them, and there's, oh yes, very, very types of troops. Now, of course, you can have, we're versus Galadon once again. Shout out to Galadon, he's an awesome guy. So, and we have the same tro trophies. Another thing that you can do, which I quite like, is using different types of troops. Like, sometimes, you know, like the baby dragon, when uh, the builder base first came out, every, you know, there's a lot of people that used it, and it was quite overpowered. But, since these different bases you come against, it's quite nice to take in different troops, varied troops, so you, you can come against varied bases. For example, you could take all air troops. But then there might be a base that's quite defensive to air, and then your army won't work well. So, if you have a bit of a variation, although I've got all ground troops, but, um, but, yeah. Yeah, it's like, as it, they're not all, like, they're not all tanks are all of the same thing, because it works quite nice. You can uh, vary your strategy a little bit. So, there we go. We'll, we'll put the, this guy back here, this here. We'll, we'll put these guards in here a little bit early, and then we're going to wait for those to go in. Probably, maybe a little bit too early with the guards, but it should be good. So, those guys are going down there, which is not exactly where I wanted them to go. So, we're going to wait for that, uh, and we're going to use the ability right now. And there we go. And so now we will, we will, we will oh no, we, we see that was badly timed, very badly timed. Okay, that was, see, I might, I might lose this now. Okay, now, okay, so luckily, and there we go. If you hold this down, you can see where they're going to fire, so that's quite helpful. If you hold down the ability, whether, we're, whether it's her, or with like the guy that's like, a bit like the Barb King, you can see that, oh, oh, here we go, we're going to take him out. Hey, there we go, we got the win, just, just. That you can do. So if you hold that down, it's a great way to f figure out, like, where they're going to fire. You know, same with, you know, the barb, like, uh, no, with the, the different things. There's, you know, you can just, you can just see, uh, like, different things. One of the other ones that you hold down, you can see where you can place it as well. So... Yeah, that, it's, it, that's another tip indeed. So there we go. We're going to hopefully get another win. Okay, next thing. Defense. We'll move on to defense. We'll just defeat this final thing. Boom. Yeah, and it says there's not many players in the arena. You keep versing the same players again and again and again. Hey, we just got a subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Plenty of new content. I actually lost subscribers since my announcement video on the... On the the, this awesome game. Okay, there you go. So let's go defensive. So to see the defensive go on the gold mine. Now every 24 hours, you get a different gold mine to defend, which is like, it's kind of annoying. It's like, come on, I just worked out the best defense for that one. But it's kind of good because then it keeps you on your toes and having to keep redesign. Strategy is equally important. Um, there we go. The, the best offense is defense. That's a quote by Galadon, I think, if I got it right. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so we have... 
we have he did a video on that anyway we have this here now if you go here you can you have all of these different things so we're going to put these all away so we'll put them all into our infantry like so now you in this my situation i could put nine down you might start off with being able to put five but you fast progress to be able to put more now you can put troops down so it's sort of like a I don't know what it's like. It's it's kind of like it's like a, a like clan castle in a sense. Uh, it was it's so you it's so linked to the other games. It's brilliant. It's awesome. It's fun, but it's really good. Okay, so that's that's one thing. But I find that the the actual buildings are much better. Now you have to think of it like you know like where do you want to put them? Now do you want to put a mortar right there? Probably not because they'll wreck it. So you want to put it in here like a bit defensive. Like you know you might put it up there so it can start hitting them instantly. You know I haven't figured out the perfect strategy, but what you want to do is you want to you want to like not have it too close. So you do want it at the back. And yeah, you again you don't want to put them too close together because then they can do you know the arcade machine which does more damage. But at the same time you you don't want to have to spread them out too far that some of them are too far forward. So you sort of want them protecting each other if you can. Now you have got walls and you can you can put these down to like for example block off entrances or you could like do that and then put a bomb right there which is also what you can do on Clash of Clans. That works quite well. And then you could you could sort of like get them to like direct them or like you could sort of build a little bit of a, a fort for like your uh, like. To, to protect your mortar for as long as possible. So this one here, I might put this here. So I'm going to put this, so it's protecting the mortar if they attack in that direction. So it's it's protecting its weak zone. Remember, and glad you glance, you know, the wizard tower and the mortar. You know, basic tips right at the start. Got to keep that as a perfect combo. It's kind of like that in a sense. You just got to keep them protecting each other as well as then they'll start coming through there. The mortar can hit them through there. We could then put some mines like right there, which would actually be a great placement. So they, they get hit. And then we can put like this here, or we could put some troops. We might put that in there so then and they start attacking this big fight around there and then indeed we could save and go home and then that will be our new defensive base so you you, you have to be a bit tactical about that uh, don't put the t troops too close to the, to the edge and with the the mines you can certainly direct them based on where you put the walls okay let's let's uh, oh yes upgrade things as always as possible now unfortunately I'm a bit low on coins but if especially the units you use so if for example you're always using Pitcher, you might want to upgrade Pitcher. So there we go, upgrade. So you don't want to just have all these upgrades. At, well, of course, you'll eventually get them unless you buy coins. But you don't want to have heaps of them idle, especially if you're using them. So keep upgrading stuff as much as possible. You know, especially upgrade your helicopter because then you get a bonus troop, which is a huge difference considering how small the armies are. And then, of course, you can upgrade your HQ. So make sure to keep getting get, get these upgrades. So there's 43 cards in total. Okay, so that's that's one of the other key things. Okay, another thing is join a clan. So when you get to, I'm not sure if it's it's level, level, I'm not sure, I think it's level 3, you can join a, a clan, I'm not sure if they call them clans, but a team I think it's called, be sure to join one, so then you can, you can talk to people, you can strategize, you can get tips, it's, it's a, it's a great way, and to be connected, so that's another thing. Uh, and collect your coin rewards for moving up the leagues. So when you move up the leagues, you slowly get these. Remember, uh, these things here, these gold things, you could tap it. So remember to tap that, that is indeed another key thing. Okay, let's go on for another attack. Okay, there we go, like so. Uh, and another thing is watch back your your replays. So if you come over here and I'm just trying to think about all the different stuff, it, watch back your replays. So if you have like I don't know, it, it, like if you for example if we go here and we see that we uh, lost an attack. Well, let's say this one here. So we we lost an attack. So we watch and see. Well, well, what did they do? So they they came in here. They stormed it like so. I had my little guards. This was with my different base, and we could see. So they they're going in this way. The the mine sort of came out a little bit too early, although it did hit them a bit. So they're still storming in. Maybe not have guards because the guards come out, or maybe move the guards a bit forward because they come out a bit late, perhaps, or maybe it was just good there. Uh, and then it, we, we indeed get defeated. Maybe we need a few more walls and we need to put them back a little bit so they can't shoot across the walls, the enemy. So, yeah, that is indeed. So, and so they only just won. And then they, oh, see, only two of them survived. But we could know for next time, well, why don't we put uh, some walls along this side or whatnot. So you can learn. So be sure, be sure to indeed learn from the different things. So another thing indeed is to, oh, yes, attack. Okay, so we'll, we'll go attack and we'll use again and we'll go into attack mode. The barrels that you see when attacking, I always thought at the start, they're like, no, they're going to damage me. They don't damage you. They damage their troops. So, for example, oh, we haven't got a fireball thing. But if we put this off here, uh, that's another strat, uh, tip. Uh, try to hit the, hit the, and ignite the barrels while you're at it. So, if you're going to hit, for example, the tank, don't just hit here. Well, it, it, like, if it was smaller, it's a smaller radius. Don't just hit here. Hit these things as well, so then it will uh, damage the tank even further. 
Okay, let's try. So Skeletor changed his base. No, I think it's the same. Okay, let's go. So we'll move this back here, move that back there. We'll start it up, and then we'll wait. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. The guards were slightly late, but I think this should still be early enough to grab the Mortar's attention. There we go. Those guards just want attention. Okay, see, and again, you can slow it down. But we'll leave it, and then we'll wait for that, and then we'll instantly fire. We could see where we're going to fire, and we're going to heal up that tank so it doesn't quite die. So it managed to survive. Now, the guards are doing great job while these troops get very close, although they're annoyingly going off and attacking this thing, which I'm not so concerned that they attack. There we go. So, they're onto the final, the, onto the final tank. Let's defeat the tank. And for the record, if Galadon was attacking me, he would defeat me every time as well, most probably. But I could watch back my replays and slowly improve my base. Okay, there we go. So, we got the win like so. Okay, there we go. So, we do this and boom, like that. So, yeah, and I, had, I do have a bit of extra gems. That was just because I ran out of keys, so I was using it to continue attacking. But apart from that, apart from that, okay, there we go. So, let's uh, let's come down here. So, we yeah, hold the ability when you have fire. Um, oh, yeah, and then the mine shows that. Okay, then we'll go attack, and we will go, let's say, let's try her this time, an air troop. This, oh, I love this thing. Okay, wait, oh, maybe then, hmm. Okay, let's go like, let's go like this. Okay, there we go, and we could do, oh, this is like a rage. I'm just trying to think what's better. Okay, there we go. We could... Uh, let's go... Oh, I'll show you that for the tips. Okay, we might lose, but we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So, don't be afraid to try out different attack and defense strategies. You might find one that you really like, and you're more than welcome to keep trying that. But also, don't feel afraid to, like, let's, let's just switch it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got a wee army. I love this. This is one of my favorite troops right here. Now, we're going to send that in. We're going to... We're going to go like this, and we're going to... So, oh yeah, this, right. So this here, you can do this. And you see that? I'm hitting those barrels. The, those barrels will light up that I can hit them. So I could do that, or I could hit that. So I'm going to do that so I can hit the mortar as well. And, boom. Okay, there we go. And, whoosh. Okay, so we did do some damage. The tank's coming in. And getting ready to do it now. There we go. So, because we could hit them all. So there's this awesome thing that's coming at the back. So I'm taking a bit of a risk with a new army, but... It's, it's still, it's still, oh, no, okay, this, oh, no, 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 okay, no, come on, come on, come on, yes, okay, no, no, don't hit it, no, don't hit it, see, it didn't do damage to my troops, okay, so we did lose that, but our air troop survives, it didn't work so well, that army against Galadon's base, but it does appear that my one troop will indeed go on to get the three star, now, note that actually, it does, you like, normally, you know, you know, like, in a clan war, when you have the one archer left against the gold storage, you're like, and it takes like one or two minutes. No matter how small the troop, even if it's just a little guard, they actually see, they actually destroy the base real quick. So even if you just have one troop and, and the likes of Clash Clans, you'd be like, okay, it's not going to be a three star. But in Rush Wars, it actually can be. So they go on and go on to slowly take out all of those things. So yeah, that is indeed the video. So don't be discouraged and don't give up if you win some and you lose some. It's going to happen. I remember when Clash Royale came out, I, as well as many others, would just get so frustrated when we were like winning and they would just lose, 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 lose. I'd be like, but keep trying keep persisting the game's meant to for fun enjoy the game upgrade have fun and i hope you enjoyed this video have a wonderful rest of your day and i look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow for another video of rush wars